Anna Nicole Smith was part of the practice that I inherited. She was lovely, pleasant. Uh, she was, uh, uh, of course, beautiful. Uh, when I met Anna, she was excited about uh, things that were happening in her life. When I saw her, I was kind of like surprised, you know, that she was really in good shape. She was thinner. Um, she just looked completely different than what I really expected her to look like. Anna Nicole was on um, a stable regimen of methadone, uh, mostly for her pain. And um, she was on some anxiety medicine, which was uh, stable also at the time. Anna Nicole Smith was asked to represent um, Project Angel Food at the Gay Pride Parade in West Hollywood, and I had been a volunteer and had worked with Project Angel Food for many years. She said, hey, would you like to come along with us? I said, I'd absolutely love to come and spend the day. I did not, uh, at that time, realize that I would be ending up on the car with her, but that was sort of a last-minute thing. It just so happens that after the parade, uh, I went on to enjoy, as I do every year, some festivities at the sort of the after party. And she called me up and said, hey, you know, um, what, uh, what happens now? I mean, do I just go home? And I made the misjudgment at that point of saying, hey, why don't you just come on down to the Abbey and hang out? The facts of a list of medications is actually how I came to learn about Dr. Rosevich. I was alarmed, frankly, by the list of medications and realized that whoever was writing these are, is not someone who knew pain management. I was coming back from meeting and my staff mentioned that it was all over the news. Yes, uh, Alex, I have just been told and we're going to have a conversation in just a moment with Ron Rail. He is the attorney for Anna Nicole Smith and he just reported some very sad news to me that she has indeed passed away. At 2.49 this afternoon, we were advised by hospital personnel that Anna Nicole Smith had died. An autopsy begins tomorrow to try to determine the cause of death. It was shock and disbelief. The medical examiner's first revelations and the legal fights yet to come. The infamous photos of Dr. Kapoor at the L.A. Gay Pride Parade are leaked. The authorities start to close in. Out of the blue, there was a raid on my home by DEA agents. The police, helicopters, investigators. What we have in this case is a conspiracy uh, among three individuals. Howard K. Stern is the principal enabler. Uh, Dr. Arasevich and Dr. Kapoor are prescribing drugs uh, excessively uh, to a known addict and using false and uh, fictitious names, all in violation of the law and all in furtherance of a conspiracy that violates the Penal Code of California. My attorney warned me that I better get um, bail of, you know, a million dollars together because she was so afraid that this was going to come down um, hard. I was extremely afraid of losing my license, uh, going to jail. My biggest fear was probably losing my children and, of course, losing my ability to practice medicine. They completely exonerate Dr. Kapoor. It was exhilarating and the most awesome experience um, you could feel of relief. I first just want to say that this is really a victory, not just for me to be acquitted of this, but it's a victory for patients everywhere in our nation uh, who suffer chronic pain.